All right, this is Roger with iGadget Geek, and I'm going to do a little short video on how to install a custom ROM. Now, this is assuming that you have already done the super one click root and have the modified recovery. Now, there's a couple of things you'll need to download from the market first. So, you'll want to head to the Android market, you want to go ahead and do a search. What I would recommend first would be Titanium Backup. So you can see there, so go ahead and go to Titanium Backup. Um, now I have the Pro version installed as you can see here, but there is a free version. Um, go ahead and install that onto your phone. That'll be the first thing. Now the second app that you're going to need to download is going to be ROM Manager. As you can see here so go ahead and search that as you can see here's the premium and there is a free version uh, go ahead and click on that and download it now I recommend the premium version is just a few dollars and it'll give you a lot more easy access to downloading these uh, custom ROM updates in the future alright so after you've downloaded the titanium backup and the ROM manager from the market you want to go ahead and launch titanium backup when it asks for your super for your permissions click yes and then you want to go in here to backup and restore hit the menu button do a batch and then you want to do here run backup all user apps and system data you want to run that allow it to run its backup and what that will do is it will give you a total backup of all your installed apps and everything and then you'll, as you can see here is the ROM manager. You want to go ahead and launch ROM manager. Now you want to do flash clockward recovery. And you want to come down here and select the SI9000. Select that and it will download and install that onto your phone. Just wait for that to finish. Click OK. Now once you've done that you can go right here to download ROM and you want to go ahead and scroll down here to where it says the GTG465X click on that as you can see here is our Infuse version 1.2 now I notice there's been some people asking about where the add-ons are when you click on this here and go ahead and click on download now it's going to ask for the full or add-ons only the full will give you the ROM and all the add-ons. So let's go ahead and click on full and click OK. Now what this will do is it'll be enable ad blocking, disable battery percentage, install, touch whiz with the five icon dock. Any of those that you want to install with the ROM you go ahead and select and then hit OK. Now I don't I personally like the percentages on the battery and I don't use the stock launcher so that doesn't matter to me so I'm gonna go ahead and just do enable Add blocking, click OK. Now here if you want to have a completely clean install, you want to go ahead and check this here where it says wipe data and chase. Um, I've already got this ROM installed so I'm not going to do that. So you can go ahead at that point you can unclick this wipe data chase there. You can unclick that if you've clicked the wipe data chase because this is part of it but since I'm not doing that I'm gonna go ahead and leave it checked and click OK now it says press OK to reboot into clockwork mod recovery and continue the installation you wanna click OK right there and then after you click OK your phone will sit here and reboot into clockwork mod recovery so we'll go ahead and give it a moment and let it do that as you can see there I'm into my clockwork mod recovery now if you get another screen that is blue you wanna go down to highlight where it says reinstall packages and click the power button now you may have to do that twice but since I've already ran the clockwork mod recovery I don't have to do that but if you run into that problem and it comes here and it doesn't automatically install your ROM in some cases it's not automatically installing the ROM I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to manually go in and install the ROM of course you want to come down here to wipe chase partition 
and click on this and hit yes and then once it's done go back then you want to go ahead and do install zip from SD card and go down to where it says choose zip from SD card now if you've downloaded this through ROM manager I'm going to show you where this is located you'll want to go down here to where it says clockwork mod and you'll hit the power button and then you'll click on download and then right here where www.prism.gatech.edu click on that and then you can see there's our GTG465X now here's the uh, updated Infuse 1.2 full zip so we'll go ahead and click that and that's going to install the latest version of the ROM so you'll scroll down here and hit yes let it do its thing it only takes a moment as you can see here let it go ahead and install give it just a moment Okay, and then once it's done, you want to go down here to choose zip from SD card. Then you want to go right back to that same location to Clockwork Mod, download the Prime, then the GT, and then we'll click on the add ons. Now, as you can see, here is the uh, ad blocking, and all the add ons that you've downloaded will be right there. Now I have not actually downloaded all of the add-ons because I'm not interested in using them, but any add-ons that you download will be right there. So then we'll go ahead and click on the Update Infused Ad Blocking Zip. So you click on that and then click Yes to install it. And this process will be the same for every add-on that you want to add on to the ROM. You'll just repeat those. You'll go again to Choose Zip, back down to Clockwork Mod, so on and so forth while you install all of those different updates. Now if you've removed the battery percentage and you would like to return it, you'll just have to reflash that ROM. And then once you're done, you'll click here on the Go Back, and then you'll click on the Reboot System Now. And we'll go ahead and set our phone down, and we'll let it go ahead and reboot. Now this first reboot will take a little bit of time, so just be patient, let it let it do its thing and reboot. And there we go. Now we're back onto the little AT&T screen.
Okay, my phone is rebooted and is back up now. So we'll go ahead and go in here to menu, go into settings, scroll down here about phone, and as you can see now we have the UCK E3 as well as the infused version 1.20. So hopefully that'll maybe alleviate some of the confusion and I'll have all the links down in the description as far as the post on XDA developers where you can get this ROM and that'll also have links to where you can, how to root and how to do the modified recovery.